Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Mediator 9. This is a very good uh, authoring tool for web uh, for e-learning materials. Um, this is very similar to having a website. On the left here you've got your pages. You can have a number of pages. All you need to do is click on new and add another page. Let's just name it test for now. Alright, that's added. Now what you can do is each page can have a link to another page and the way you do that is you insert a button you can choose a different kind of button different kinds of buttons that you want so let's just choose a generic one here right so we've got the button here and you can rename the button by double clicking on it so let's just name that back and you by clicking on this you want it to go back to page two right so the, the way to put that is you have to give it put some programming in you right click and then you say event you need to give it an, an event once you've given the given it an event and now what it wants is what you want to do so you want to when you say when you click on that button you want it to go to a particular page now let's say page two so press OK, and then you can have different kind of transactions. You know, how you want to tra sorry the transitions, how you want it to go from one page to another. So if you press OK on there, and this will mean when you click on this button, it will take you back to page two. So on page two, let me just put an, a random image. So that's fine of a track. So you know, right? And when we go back on here, let's show, let's do a review of it. So if we run this page, yeah, that's fine. As we can see here, you see the the actual uh, page there. So if we go back, it goes back to the rectangle. Um, now you're thinking, why am I showing you this? Well. The reason I'm showing you this is it allows you to do something very, very different. And when I say very different, actually it's not that different to many of the other authoring tools, but it's a lot better than what you can do with something like PowerPoint. What, it, what you can do is if we right click on here, this is like the start button if you like, and click on the wizard. I always go with the standard rather than the flash on the categories and I also here you've got the option you've got the option you can choose computer based training this allows you to create a number of different training materials um, you can choose the kind that you can have multiple choice formal answer basically means an answer you type in multiple choice is actually multiple answer multiple uh, response rather so you can have more than one response to a, each question single choice basically as as uh, suggested by the name you have one answer to the question and then you have your drag and drop for this let's just choose all types of CBT so you know what uh, I mean by the, the training all right so once you've selected that it automatically creates everything for you so remember when we put uh, the the programming events into each of the buttons where well, it does all the events for you here the master slide just like with a web page is is your main uh, slide where you design how everything should look once you've decided how everything looks you can carry on um, changing things around and it's very similar to a word you can drag it, move it around, resize things you can delete it by pressing the delete button and if you want to put a new image you can just select a picture and insert a new picture into it so you click a picture you decide how big you want it to be and then you can just insert a picture now if you look at how it's set out you've got the multiple choice answer one and you can have the question here with your answers here you can change the picture you can move these around actually um, but it's a little tricky because it only it moves 
uh, the actual question part there but it doesn't actually move the text and I think the reason for that is because this has all been programmed and the text is just a tag that's on top so let's just leave that where it is you can change the background you can change the question by just clicking on it and also if you're having problems not understanding how to make alterations to this and adapt it for your own needs you can actually go to the right here and there's very clear instructions on how to do that uh, the next one is the formal answer the formal answer here again you have your question at the top you can change your image here and this will be your answer you can change your image, you can remove the image you can put text in there, it's up to you and there's a timer at the bottom uh, you can select how long you have for each question you can totally remove that if you want points and how many points each question is worth you can actually just change by clicking on here right there's uh, one usually one uh, point for each question that you do right further down the pictures uh, the, the idea with this one is that the pictures are similar there are two similar pictures or two animals of the same family on here so what you can do is you can say remove these pictures say you want to have a drag and drop where you, in an English language class for example you have uh, two words with a similar suffix so you have friendly and sadly so you can create two images friendly and sadly of the words uh, write the words in a in a in just paint and save it so you've got your JPEG file and you can just remove each of these and each of these images here can be removed by just double clicking and you can insert another image whatever you want so if we just click the aeroplane there it will automatically replace it you can resize them as well obviously um, the last one here the last type is the drag and drop again but this one is again the opposites so these are actually words so if you didn't want this you wanted images on here you could use images on here and if you wanted words you could use this particular type you can reduce the number of words or increase the number of words by just selecting uh, on here this is really a quick guide and at the end it will automatically calculate the scores and give you a score it will also give you a message at the bottom saying how you know if you've got a very good score it will say well done if you have got zero it will say come on take this seriously you can actually program that yourself on what it should say as well this is a very very quick tour on how to use uh, Mediator 9 I know it's uh, very quick but I'm sure you can uh, appreciate that the, the program itself is very capable feel free to play around with something like this it's comfortable to play around with as well because of the similarity uh, as you can see at the top it's very similar to many of the office products and it makes you feel comfortable using it uh, I hope uh, it's been good for you to uh, watch this video please feel free to mess around with software like this it's well rather than mess around I'd say feel free to use software like this and but as you build up your confidence with the programming and event side of it it becomes more uh, well it becomes starts to make, become more common sense after a while and you can use a lot more uh, of your own uh, imagination to create things because the events you can do yourself for example you can do things like crosswords that you can do uh, word searches you can do all sorts of things like this using mediator and also the it's uh, you can create it as a flash version which will also work on an android device and this itself will work on mo uh, any pc device because it creates an executable file once you've uh, saved it so by the way to create an executable file is clicking on here and again that big start button type thing you have to prepare it 
and the way you prepare it is you change the properties and you select what kind you want HTML, Flash or Standard I have to warn with HTML it's very limited a lot of these questions like this will not be created in HTML um, feel free to play around hope it's been uh, good for you thank you, bye